Hey, Tony Camp here. And uh, behind me is the John Deere 1025R. This just happens to be a 2016. But uh, we're going to go over real quick how to disable or, uh, I guess, bypass the PTO RIO switch. For me, it helped out quite a bit because I was always forgetting to pull out the button uh, when I put when I put the tractor in reverse to back up or whatever. It, uh, for mowing and snow blowing, it makes a huge difference. It helps out quite a bit, and uh, my frustration level with this tractor has went down, and I just I love this thing. So let's go over that real quick. You're gonna. No brakes. So this is a real simple project. You're just going to need a, a Phillips head screwdriver. I've got a three millimeter Allen wrench. Just a cheap socket. Uh, I've got a ten millimeter socket for. If you look next to your seat, for that guy right there, you've got one on each side. And for some reason, I have uh, two size bolts, but uh, ten millimeter. So I'm sure what what that is. And the Phillips head on each side, you've got these two screws right here. Just pop those two out. And the three, I believe it's a three Allen. Uh, yeah, it sure is. That's just for that guy right there. So we're just going to pop these two top bolts off. Oh, that's really, really loose already. Uh, forgive me, it's uh, about 15, 20 degrees out right now. And I'm just going to rush through this real quick because, for help, you know, like I said, for me, it helped me out. And hopefully, you guys uh, get less frustrated with this after doing this. But, uh, of course, this video is for information purposes only. So, we're continuing on the other side, pulling this off. Now you'll notice, don't lose these things, there's uh, two metal spacers, one on each side. These guys right here. So we're going to pull those out. Super easy job. Take this guy off, I've pre-loosened it. Then for your height adjustment knob, just give it a pull up and it should pop right off. There's nothing on there holding it on. So that's not in the way no more. All right, really the last step here is take off your two Phillips head and I've switched over to a little power tool here now right away your uh, differential lock is going to push up on the plastic so just keep that in mind now we're on the other side pop this out That's it. Now everything's loose and we're just uh, going to work it out here. Work out the this plastic. It comes out pretty easy. Now you can see there's your switch for your uh, reverse pedal. That little screw back there, there's an adjustment screw in front of that zip tie. Right there, there's a screw that pushes in that button. 
and there's a zip tie that goes that I put around the sw uh, switch. Okay, you can see when you're uh, pushing forward on the pedal, or in neutral pretty much, uh, your button is always pushed in. So right when you switch over to push the reverse pedal, we'll do that now, it releases that button. So once that button is released, that's when your PTO shuts down the, uh, the deck or your snowblower. So what we did here was took a zip tie and held that button, uh, pretty much depressed the button all the time. So if you press forward or backwards, it doesn't make a difference. The button's always pushed in. And that's just the easiest way that I've found to uh, bypass or pretty much uh, clear that PTO button. And we'll show that in operation right now. So now I've got the uh, PTO button pushed in underneath the seat. We'll fire it up and we'll put the uh, we'll push reverse so you can see with the snowblower still attached and on. When you back up, it'll still be running. Alright, so now we're just going to install this uh, plastic piece back on there. And now just remember your differential lock lever is up underneath the plastic, so you'll have to push that back down. And then you're good to go. That's it, you're done. Put these spacers back in here. Nuts and bolts and washers and all that. So I got it all that together. So that wasn't a particularly exciting video, but I froze my butt off, of course. But hopefully it helped uh, one person. If one person says thank you, I'm happy enough. So uh, check out my other videos. They're probably a little bit more fun than this. But uh, have a great winter. Christmas is coming up. Uh, Merry Christmas. You guys take care.